Hello and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can add a motion graphics pack to Adobe Premiere Pro very easily. One of those packages which have a whole host of motion graphics which really take your editing to the next level. And by nature of doing this, I'm also going to show you how to add an extension to Premiere Pro. And by this I mean having essentially a separate menu where all my motion graphics are going to be stored. It's external. It's going to be added into Premiere Pro so that every time I open it up, I can go write graphics and it pops up this cool menu. So yeah, stick around. Now just a quick heads up, on the right hand side here, Premiere Pro comes with some default graphics. Um, they're all along the right here, the local templates, or, sorry, the, the, or the default ones. Then you can go to Adobe Stock and basically buy some other ones or, uh, of course, get some free ones and just download them like this uh, and then they go on straight onto your, your templates. However, what I want to do is essentially take a pack of 2,000 motion graphics, which you're going to see right here, and add them into Premiere Pro. So this is um, Enveto Market. Now I've only ever worked with this one graphics pack before uh, and I'm very happy with it because as you may be able to see, there is an awful lot of elements that come with it um, and of course I'm not affiliated with this at all. But you'll see how you get 2,250 elements for the price of $60 is pretty good. You may have your own graphics pack out there and so on but be wondering how to install it. There are plenty and plenty out there. So first things first, to get it, you want to download your motion graphics pack um, to begin with. So simply find wherever you've bought it from and download it um, to your to your hard drive. Then straight after that, you want to head over to essentially your home screen and you want to create a folder saying motion graphics and you want to type in the name of the, the file that you've bought. So for me, it's going to be, um, I'm going to call it motion bro. And then on my downloads, I will have downloaded this folder very shortly, which has all of those um, little bits of graphics. Um, next up, I'm actually going to log on to the Adobe Creative Cloud. Uh, I'm going to select this and I'm going to log on to my Creative Cloud account. Or of course, if you've got it installed, then you'll be able to see it just up there. If I go into the marketplace, Motion Bro. Yeah, so I'm searching Motion Bro because they're connected to the package which I've bought for my where all my graphics are. Um, so I'm searching for this plugin. I'm going to select, double click right there, and then I'm going to install this free plugin. Now it's developed by Motion Bro, uh, and it basically coincides with graphic templates. So for me, I'm going to install this right here. I'm going to select OK, and then Happy Days. It is going to install, but first I need to close Premiere Pro because I had it open earlier on uh, by nature of showing you motion graphics. So I'm going to install this right here, and then this is going to install, and it's going to allow me to have a separate window, basically, to allow um, my motion graphics to pop up in their own their own their own place. So it's a plugin for creating awesome videos, and I'd agree with that. Um, now this is installed. I'm going to go over to my Finder. Here I can find my Video Hive files, two gigs of motion graphics. I'm going to drag and drop them over to my Motion Bro uh, Motion Graphic Motion Bro template folder that I created earlier on, and I'm going to unzip these actually. So it's going to unzip all of the different files inside of my graphics pack. I've got Tokyo or Toko Graphics. Head over to Adobe Premiere Pro, reopen up that same project I was in or a brand new project. Uh, I'm going to go to the window at the very top hand side. Hopefully you can see this window at the very top. And then I'm going to scroll down slightly to extensions. Now the extension that you'll see I have, I've just installed it, is Motion Bro 4.5.0 and it's going to bring up this window right here. It's going to say visit Motion Bro store or install a package. Uh, I'm going to select install a package, select a package to install. I'm going to double click that. I'm going to go over to my folder which I created just a few moments ago um, and open actually the MBR file. So there's two different files, graphics and sound. I'm going to try and open firstly the graphics um, right here. So select that, select open. It's going to install them. It takes a bit of time. A very nice and cool animation there. So I have to insert the purchase code when I bought this. I've just added my code to that box and now all of my Motion Bro graphics have been added nice and smooth. Now here you can see this extra window that is installed as a result of the plugin, which is very, very nice. Um, and then of course, I also wanna add some sound effects. And then right, to add an extra downloaded package once you've downloaded it, as you can see right here, the Motion Bro FX pack I just downloaded. I'm gonna find it in my folder. Once the window is uh, extended with my Motion Bro plugin available, I'm simply gonna find that folder again, drag and drop my sound effects file, to the Motion Grow, uh, Motion Bro um, 
sound effect templates. And it's gonna start to install all of those sounds. The package has successfully been installed. I've now got a lovely um, sound effects pack that I can also select from. Now, I hope this video has helped you out massively. I hope this has been a success and you've learned a lot about sound effects, uh, about graphics, how to install them in Premiere Pro and how to use them within a plugin such as Motion Pro. Um, and later on, I'm gonna show you how to customize a lot, lot more. But thank you for watching. Leave a like if it did help you. It really does help me out. Subscribe down below and I'll catch you again very soon. Thank you.